Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review and this time around for the 14.5 ounce 3 wick salted caramel pretzel candle from Bath & Body Works, part of the upcoming uh, collection of candles that are coming out. Uh, the notes on this read, freshly baked soft pretzel, brown butter, caramel, and sea salt. And yes, so wow, this is so immensely buttery when you go to burn it. Holy cow. Uh, this, uh, I was thinking it was a little bit cl closer to salted pretzel milkshake on cold, but they actually are quite different when you go to burn them. I mean, they're still similar candles because they're both like sweet sweet gourmand pretzel candles it actually kind of amazes me as to how many like similar but different fragrances BBW continues to put out like there's so many other fragrances out there in the world that you know other candle companies or other vendors put out yeah BBW kind of hovers around the same fragrances that I guess are really popular but they just change them ever so slightly like it's just amazing how they can create like so many uh different variations of essentially the same fragrance if that makes sense but in any case Yes, so this is just so immensely buttery. Like this is definitely a uh, heavy emphasis on that freshly baked soft pretzel with like a very buttery like coating or uh, like, a, you know, buttery liquid on top of it for sure uh like you know at a you know pretzel store you get in the mall or something like that it's very much that like soft pretzel experience down to even like you can get the realistic smell of the like pretzel salt crystals it's crazy uh but it's a lot more savory and buttery than i had imagined at least on cold so what you get first and foremost is definitely that freshly baked soft pretzel with heaps of butter on it the butter smells very gooey and uh even like kind of like lard like in the sense that it is so gooey and heavy and buttery. Yeah, for sure. That butter is so strong. Uh, mixed with a definitely a soft pretzel. So it's not quite as crispy or crunchy uh, or hard smelling as the pretzel and salted pretzel milkshake. It's very similar to the pretzel note that we've got in the previous cinnamon pretzel twist candle, which is also immensely similar to the bonfire s'mores candle that came out that one or two years. Um, and then we also have some variations of Welcome Home also have very much a buttery pretzel presence in it as well. So if you like any of those type of, uh, you know, buttery pretzel fragrances, it's definitely that variety of that soft pretzel in there for sure. Uh, and then you definitely get the sea salt in there that's very much like a salty fragrance and it just mixes with that buttery pretzel scent. And then lastly, you get the salted caramel. I was getting so much more salted caramel on cold as the first and prominent note, but it does take a little bit of a backseat to how buttery that pretzel uh, smell is. But you do get a salted caramel in there. It's your usual standard BBW salted caramel uh, because, you know, pretzel and popcorn also have that salty, slightly crunchy aspect to it mixed with a caramel it does have you know that usual kind of like salted caramel popcorn type of fragrance that you get sometimes from like summer boardwalk or their old salted caramel salty caramel fragrances or any of their like caramel popcorn salted caramel fragrances it's that usual bbw salted caramel for sure uh but yeah just a heavy emphasis on that just crazy butter and that like very soft pretzel mixed with the sea salt uh pretzel salt crystals like that, that experience is what comes out most in this um and it's just yeah it's so buttery that it's a little bit more savory than it is like sweet cutesy uh so yeah sometimes it becomes a little bit too much so i feel like i'm just like gagging on a vat of butter but it is what it is um yeah i would say it's even so buttery that it remind, reminds me of how buttery popcorn and pine was if anyone remembers that but yeah i think that I, like adequately describes the fragrance let me go into the performance this is either a fourth or fifth burn has the thick rope like wakes that um, I think the first burn was a little bit slower, but then all the burns after that uh, have kind of like picked up and they have the, you, you know, usual vicious flames, deep, even wax pull in no time, uh, you know, so if you don't trim them. A lot of times with these like thick rope like wick candles, the first burn will be like deceptively small or puny, but then if you just give them some time and let them just pull out for like, I don't know, at least five hours that first time around, just let them keep going for the uh, burns after that, you will eventually stumble upon for you know nine out of nine times out of ten obviously I can't guarantee it for every single candle but from my experience by the time you get to this point then the wicks will be like fine and like long and erect enough to be able to give a nice flame so just uh, keep that in mind because a lot of times the the thick rope like wick ones tend to be a little puny on the first burn but then they kind of like 
course correct afterwards. So the performance on this is fine. As for the throw, uh, definitely like a good seven to seven and a half. Um, the buttery fragrance is very strong and prominent. And of course, usually their salted caramel fragrances are pretty strong as well. Uh, so definitely in the medium to medium plus. So I really don't have any qualms in terms of smelling this. Uh, sometimes it's just the buttery fragrance is so overwhelming or overpowering that I probably wouldn't want this to be any stronger than it really is. Overall, if you want like a really uh, authentic and realistic like soft baked pretzel uh, experience, like with heaps of butter and the salt crystals and everything mixed with just a little bit of a buttery caramel, then check this one out. I think it's just so immensely butter for me personally that I don't like find myself like wanting to be like, oh, let me just like light up that butter candle right now. Um, and it's not necessarily something I would want to repurchase, but I can't really knock the fragrance because I guess it smells like what it's supposed to, but just, I don't know, every time I burn it, I just feel like I'm just being like completely gagged out by a vat of butter. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.